Call the blue area bridge. McCarthy, outbound cargo. Roger that, Cap. I see you coming for a few tones. Thank you. Good afternoon, visitors. The Duluth area lift bridge is about to lift to its full height of 135 feet for the departure of the Walter J. McCarthy, Jr. If you haven't seen the lift bridge lift before, I invite you to go outside and check it out at this time. The Walter J. McCarthy, Jr. should be leaving in about 10 minutes or so. afternoon visitors right now departing through the Duluth ship canal we have the Walter J McCarthy Jr. The Walter J McCarthy Jr. was built as the Bell River in 1977 by the Bay Ship Building Company of Sturgeon Bay, Wisconsin. She measures 1,000 feet in length, 105 feet in width, and 56 feet in depth. She's powered by four 3,600 horsepower, 20-cylinder General Motors diesel engines, which give her a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. She's also equipped with bow and stern thrusters to aid her maneuverability in port. The McCarthy has 37 hatches on her deck, which open into seven cargo holds located below deck. Each hatch covering measures 56 by 11 feet. She has a maximum carrying capacity of 78,900 tons. Above her deck is a 250-foot self-unloading boom, which allows her to unload her own cargo at a rate of 10,000 tons per hour without the aid of shoreside equipment. The Walter J. McCarthy Jr. is owned and operated by the American Steamship Company of Williamsville, New York. Walter J. McCarthy Jr. is departing through the Duluth Ship Canal today uh, with a load of iron ore pellets she took on over at uh, the Canadian National Ore Docks in West Duluth. She is going to be taking that load of iron ore pellets down to Cleveland. If you see any crew members on deck, make sure to give them a big wave and wish them a safe voyage across the big lake. Give the crew on board a big wave and wish them a safe voyage. 